Let's come to Newsroll. Newsroll is like a delicious plate. Everyone can find something new and exciting. And uh, it works basically on the same basic idea as partially squares. It evolves uh, iteratively. So first, the measurement models are estimated. And then the structure model is estimated. And you will see the small difference. Uh, a little brain is here. So what this means is uh, instead of using with partially squares linear models, linear regression, we use artificial neural networks. And an artificial neural network is nothing else than a multivariate nonlinear regression model. This enables us to explore nonlinearities and explore interactions. And how this works, I try to give you an idea now how neural networks work. You, you saw in the tomato metaphor that relationships with uh, two causes can be uh, visualized by landscape. This is a landscape. So you have your green bushes and the gray mountain. Imagine you can only see green or, or black. In this case, you would just see the bushes, just see the green ones, and you would not see the mountain. And that's a task a neural network faces. It sees only the bushes, which are the data. And the task is to estimate how the mountain is probably looking like. Yeah. How does it work? Let's look at that graph. So again, that are graphs of two causes and one effect. And uh, neural networks consist out of neural units. This is one neuron. So it, uh, one neuron produces a landscape which is kind of wave. And the, you can, uh, the steepness and so on, it is uh, dependent on the parameter of the neural network. And if you add two of those waves in the right way, you achieve with this landscape. If you add more neurons, you achieve with this. If you put 10 neurons, you get a more complex one. By uh, super, uh, by adding many neurons, you can approximate every type of landscape. So what the method is doing to, is overlapping this ones and try to estimate how the mountains look like. And to achieve it with a low estimation error, like regression models is doing it. But you see probably there are a lot of spots which have no bushes. So it's a task which have, has, to, uh, has to do in a sensible way. The task is kind, kind of having a puzzle where a lot of pieces are missing. That's why you, you need to include in the neural network a mechanism called automated relevance detection. You need to detect which causes are ir irrelevant. How does it work? Or why? First of all, why? I'll give you an example. Imagine you have one cause and one effect. These are, you have only a limited uh, data set, only three respondents are answered. Then you put a regression model in it and you have some estimation error but the, the relationship is positive. But maybe you don't know that this is the only cause. You put two causes in but the second one is random. If you do so, you put the second one in, you get arrived with a landscape, a linear regression, which fits your data perfectly. So you have those three data, 
in your landscape can fit the data perfectly, no estimation error anymore. But what you did is just adding a random variable. So can't be right. Huh? That's why you need to include in the regression model <coughs> a mechanism which which senses the random part and the random variables. And in the neural network which Neustral uses, this is this is incorporated. And one thing more is incorporated, uh, a regulation of nonlinearities. Give you a quick example for that here. If the relationship is at hand is a dotted line, okay, and the cases are here the, the dots, this ones. And if you have too much uh, nonlinearity in your model, you arrive at this solid line. So the solid line is very different from the uh, dotted line. So I, this is no estimation error at all, but the the result is not correspond to the reality. It does not correspond to the dot line. And if you have uh, not enough uh, uh, nonlinearities, your, your estimation error is too high. So this is underfitting, this is overfitting. What you want to have is, you want to have a higher estimation error than here, but instead, a better approximation of the true underlying function. That's why you need not only to fit the data best, you also need to uh, minimize the complexity of the model. And also, this is implemented in the neural network which Neusser uses, so-called uh, Bayesian neural networks. There's one last, last point with Neusser. You saw that you can visualize relationships by landscapes. If you have 10 relationships, uh, sorry, if you have 10 causes, your landscape is 10 dimensional. So you cannot visualize it anymore. If you can't visualize it, you cannot interpret it. You cannot understand it. That's referred as black box, the black box problem of neural networks. That's why you need methods which helps you to look into the black box. I'd like to give you an idea how Neustro is doing this so-called post-processing. This is again a simple uh, relationship of two causes and one effect. Value perception, satisfaction and loyalty. And the red dots are the data, and the grid is the relationship. So you can find out, or you want to find out, what is the separated effect of the satisfaction on loyalty. That's what you want to know. You can learn about it <coughs> by, uh, by setting, setting the data uh, from satisfaction to a mean to a fixed uh, to a fixed uh, value. So you set the variation of this variable to zero. And by doing so, you lose explanation. For instance, for this for this case, you lose this estimation, yeah? and this is the effect of satisfaction on loyalty. The separated effect, and this you can visualize them in a two-dimensional plot. In the same way, you can also visualize interactions in a two-dimensional way. So let's summarize about neutral. It is a quantitative method. It is multivariate. It's exploratory, and it can include many variables because it has the automated relevance the detection. It explores also nonlinearities because as in the neural network does not need to know how the uh, landscape will look like beforehand. It will find out. 